why narcissists force themselves onto you? Why do they try to force a connection with you? Why do they rush? Why are they so impatient? Narcissists want their perfect source of supply. Someone who is attractive, wealthy and powerful. Someone who can meet all of their wants, needs and desires. Someone who will go along with their narrative and comply with their demands. Someone who will never question or confront them or doubt what they're saying. That would be the ideal source for a narcissist. It is what they would prefer. And if you are willing to do all of that, you will be more desirable to them. They will pursue you in a determined and forceful way. They will try to do things for you. They will take up a lot of your time. They won't allow you to have much time without them. They won't allow you to be involved in many activities that they can't be involved in. They will watch you carefully to learn what you are doing. It keeps you in close proximity to them. So that you are accessible to them whenever they need you. A narcissist has to have accessibility to their supply. They need to be able to use it whenever they need to. When you first meet the narcissist, they can seem lively and high-spirited. They don't seem to take things too seriously. They can be fun. They compliment you. They can be supportive. They will go out of their way to prove to you that they're a good person. And this is how they get in with you. By acting as though they're this naive humanitarian. Someone who does things that they think will help other people. Or someone who has been victimized. Someone who has been taken advantage of in their past. Which then makes you more open to trusting them. Because it makes you think that you have someone who is on your side. Someone who will drop everything just to support you. But it's just an act. It's just to secure you as their source of supply. And while they're doing this, they are closely observing you. They want to see how you react to it. They want to see how you respond to this temporary character that they've created for you. The narcissist has multiple personalities and they will be whatever they think you want them to be if they think that it's going to get what they want.
when you first meet them. It's very intense. It's so over the top. It's like you can't do anything wrong. Everything you say or do is funny or interesting. It's amusing, it's entertaining. Everything you do is amazing to them. And this is how they seduce you. By feeding your ego until you are under their control. Until they can then maintain influence and authority over you and ruin your life. But before they do that, they will milk you for whatever you have. They will try to get as much out of you as possible. They will always do that before they discard you. They do it so fast. They quickly force themselves onto you. Because they have short attention spans. They can't spend much time on anything without getting distracted. They get distracted very easily. They get bored very easily. Every source has an expiry date with a narcissist. Because they know it's only a matter of time until they get bored. Or until they destroy it with their own reckless behavior. They've seen the same thing happen again and again in their past relationships. They already know what's going to happen. So they just want to get whatever they can get as quickly as possible. If it lasts longer than they initially expected, they'll just stick it out. They'll just see it as though you're that much under their control. But they know that it's only a matter of time until you figure them out. They know that it's only a matter of time until you realize that they're not who they said they were. This is when you might question or confront them. You won't see them in the way that you once did. You might take a step back and not give them the same amount of fuel as you used to. You might not be so willing to give them your trust anymore. When you've experienced any danger or harm from the narcissist, you may begin to enforce boundaries. Because you realize that you're at risk. And that is when the narcissist starts planning their escape. That is when they will discard you. Because you figured them out. You know that something is not right with them. You stop doing the things that you used to. You stop giving them so much. You hold back on certain things. Which only makes the narcissist angry. Whenever something affects their flow of fuel. That is when problems will arise with the narcissist. They need a consistent flow of fuel from you. Without that. They will lose interest in you. You will notice that there is always something going on with the narcissist. There is always something they need. They always want this or that. They are never contented or satisfied. They have these insatiable desires. They're just constantly trying to milk as much out of you as they can. Always trying to get more. You're always busy focusing on what they need next. Doing things with them. You never get any time for yourself. 
and that is why it can seem like you've been with them for such a long time. Even when you haven't. It just seems that way. Because you spend every waking moment around them. It feels like you've been with them for an eternity. For an endless amount of time. Because rather than attending to yourself, they've managed to keep you chasing them. Until you lose track of reality. You lose track of time. It's only when they finally discard you that you then realize that you never had a break while you were with them. You were always busy. You were always focusing on them. Always attending to them. Always catering to their needs. They would even start arguments just to get your attention. Just to get a reaction out of you. So that you're focusing on them again. You never had any time to rest. Narcissists are messed up. And they know they're messed up. Which is why they're doing everything they can to hide who they really are. They know that they only have a short amount of time before their true colors show. Before you begin to see the red flags. They know that it's only a matter of time until they mess things up. They already know how it's going to end and they have already made plans on how they are going to exit the situation. So it's all about getting whatever they can get from you and then moving on to the next person. They don't mind losing something good because they don't care about the person, they just care about the fuel. They just want what they want, when they want it, without ever giving you anything back in return. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.